One of the many criticized aspects of Miraculous Ladybug is that there are a lot of heroes. It's like 17 or 18 of them. Large cast of characters are hard enough to write even in franchises I like. However, Miraculous has some deeper issues when it comes to writing such a large cast of characters that it makes me a bit more pessimistic how the characters will be handled from now on. In the beginning, it was only Ladybug and Cat Noir, hence the title. Then Season 2 added Carapace, Rena Rouge, and Queen Bee. The general formula was for Marinette to go to Master Fu, get the Miraculous, hand the Miraculous to the person she needs, and then we get this. I was okay with this at first, it was only like three characters, but by the time we got to season three, we hit the wall and started expanding the cast, and we started expanding every single season since then. It's become quite clear that the temporary heroes were essentially secondary or tertiary lucky charms. It didn't help that they were running to Master Fu, which honestly felt like padding and a chore to get through. So glad Season 4 decided to tie the yo-yo to the miracle box because I would scream if Marinette had to run to her house every single episode. The issue on the table becomes clear. We're not exploring the dynamics of what it means to be a team. We're not getting character moments like we did in Origins where we had to see our main characters get used to having their powers and getting along with each other. Did we have an episode where Zoe failed to get along with another Miraculous hero simply because she's the new one? Or is Max going to look down on a newer member of the Miraculous team because their bumbling could have gotten him crushed underneath a building? Oh wait, that implies we actually had to give development to these characters and actually have them master their powers. Hell, we're not even getting an episode where there is a massive rift over whether or not they should follow Ladybug's plans. We don't get any interpersonal conflicts between the temporary heroes. Forget about having a Wolverine or Cyclops, or Superman and Batman dynamic, but dynamic does not exist because the show doesn't want to write such a dynamic. It always is, follow what Ladybug says. It would be nice if we had a bottle episode or clip show where the heroes were just singing the praises of their favorite hero, who really is just them. While Marinette is just sitting in the background trying not to explode with rage at how these people are clearly violating their secret identities. An alternative is incorporating superheroism into part of their characterization, have them grow more emotionally dependent on being a superhero. We already have a character who sees superheroism as a release from his overbearing father, Adrian. Why be a loser and a nobody when you can be a superhero of Paris? And then suddenly you get the Akuma fluttering down towards the person who is excessively dependent on being a superhero and for emotional support. Now, this is the part in the story where I complain about Marinette's role in the story, especially the inflated amount of importance. Like I said, these characters are what amount to secondary and tertiary lucky charms for her. They're not characters. She's the one going to Master Fu, she's the one getting the powers, she's the one handing them out, she's the guardian, she gets to choose who gets what, and because of bad writing, Adrian's role in the plot ends up being diminished because Astrid feels the need to delegate his relevance to the plot to other characters, including Marinette. Normally, when you expand the cast, the main character gets less focus and that can be an issue for the plot. However, we have the exact opposite problem here. The main character ends up gaining a ton of importance with the expansion of the cast at the detriment of the plot. This great group of heroes she's created, plus Felix, basically what amounts to Final Fantasy Summons. When an anime wants to show off powers, abilities, and personalities of large groups of characters, we normally have some kind of tournament arc. Really, this group of characters could use one. So much focus goes on Marinette, it really ends up having her mirror Hawk Moth of all people. I think that's part of the problem. So much emphasis is placed on Gabriel and Marinette for both the villains and the hero side in this drawn-out plot that they can only come off as smooth-brained. Seriously, the amount of mistakes these two makes really could have been used to fill a supporting cast and basically have them do it and have their mistakes drive a plot. But since it's Marinette and Gabriel only, we can only just sit back and say, hey, you two are idiots. Have these Final Fantasy summons have some relevance? Have an episode where Felix has to work with two other heroes, both of whom distrust him greatly for his role in Monarch's Rise? Have Mark get too arrogant when he's Rooster Bold and have it annoy the hell out of everyone, and then have him eat the humble pie? Quick side note, who approved of his power because it's stupidly broken? Have them suspect each other's identities and start snooping around, having them go to this game of cat and mouse to protect their own identities and find out the identities of their peers. 
because it feels really annoying that such a large cast at the same time feels so small and condensed to the point that nothing feels like it matters, and it really should. Well, those are my thoughts. Please consider liking, subscribing, letting me know in the comments, and tipping the channel on Kofi. This is Cyril signing off.